It's David Wow here from another Eden Adventures and the Apocrypha Chapter 6 update is coming today! Here are the updates that are most important for you and if you stay till the end I'll tell you how you can get two completely free 5 star units. Once again don't forget to like and subscribe. Liking and subscribing will give you instant good luck when you do your next pull and help more people become aware of this fantastic game plus it will make my mum really proud. First up, we are getting the new unit, Yakumo Baby! He's a completely unrelatable salary man who's fed up with his job, his colleagues and fields unappreciated for the work he does. He also has poor social skills and a messy room. This man is me! Alright, so for anyone who watched my trailer of his Japan release, we all laughed when in the Japanese trailer, he ended up yelling, Zenbu, 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 Zenbu! Zembe, 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 zembe. Now we have the English translation of that Zenbu, and here it is. Taking you all down with me, every last one. And of course, Scott had to do his own version. <laughs> I'm taking you all down with me. Yakumo is a super powerful shade type staff user who consumes a lot of MP to produce insane damage. According to Baki's tips, Yakumo works perfectly with Ify, and if you team up with Radius another style and Yifa another style, you've pretty much got an indestructible team of Sith Lords. Can you all down with me? I'll be doing a more detailed guide on Yakumo soon with tips on how to use him to win, so stay tuned. Also, how badass and rage filled is his battle voice acting? <laughs> You're done! Shout out to Joshua Wichard who did his voice acting and was actually in the live stream last night. I looked him up and he's had a bit of impressive acting experience right there. Speaking of voice acting, we also saw a fine performance by Scott last night. A man's hand reaching out from between the bars of his cage. When will he be cast as the new Aldo? By the way, if you want Scott's shirt with some awesome pixel art of Aldo, Fine and Varro, you can get it right from this channel. Click the link in my description. It also supports this channel, so everyone wins. Some viewers have already told me they have this shirt and love it. With Yakumo will also come the sidekick Kumos, who, when not in battle, looks like the perfect plush to sell millions of copies of and when he transforms in battle to become this freaky deaky beast thingy, he reminds us totally of Death Note, right? Kumos decreases the enemy's speed as well as magic, shade and type resistance while restoring Yakumo's MP. Once again, more on this when we do a Yakumo deep dive. Stay tuned, baby! The story of Apocrypha Chapter 6, like all the chapters so far, plays on the aspect of time. Like how Chapter 5's setting centered around a giant clock tower, now we deal with a grittier reality of life called adulthood. It's about someone who feels like they're just another cog in the machine working for a big company who repeats day after day in the same crappy apartment wishing tomorrow would never come. Once again, super unrelatable, right? According to writer Hisashi Fujishiro, your goal is to help bring a better tomorrow to this hopeless employee who just coincidentally happens to be one of the most powerful units in the game. Can you all down with me? This chapter is called The Breaking Dawn, and yes, it's a similar title as that Twilight movie and book that every single person in this world just completely loves and adores. Remember, to play The Breaking Dawn, you need to have completed the episode The Closed Off Open World and The Azul Rebel, as well as Kingdom of Magic, Cochlea. What banner pulls do we get with this update? Besides the standard free banner, we get the paid Fateful Encounter where we have a 10% chance of pulling our dear friend Yakumo, as well as another paid banner where we can get any one of these 10 units in this graphic guaranteed on the 10th pull. What bonuses do we get with this update? The most impressive one to me is that we get two free units, baby! This is through the cover to cover campaign where if you clear chapters 1 to 3, you get the guiding light drop to pull a random 5 star light unit. You may have gotten it already. Check out this video for more information on how to unlock it. Then if you complete chapters 4 to 6, you get the luring shadow drop which gives you a free 5 star shadow unit. 
You also get 50 free Chronostones when you log in every day, each day from today to the 28th of June, which totals to 1,000 Chronostones. Completing any of the chapters gives us 50 Chronostones per chapter. If you reached the true endings of the Apocrypha chapters, you get another 100 Chronostones per completed chapter. How do you get a true ending? Check my description after this to watch step-by-step -step instructions which are made just for you. And the good news is, if you've completed these chapters outside of any promo campaigns, your rewards will be upgraded. However, there are also repeat campaigns. If you've been rewarded for these before, you'll only get the appropriate rewards for completing chapter 6. There's also some fine print to these campaigns which you can check out on the screen right now or by viewing the in-game notices. There's a lot happening. So with this update, quests with active campaigns now have a little red cat icon, Aww, so cute, next to them to remind you of the homework you need to do to get some sweet, sweet freebies. And before I forget, for the cat lovers out there, updating your game will give you access to the Guildner matching set. So will you be doing the Yakima pool? Don't forget to subscribe and set notifications on so you know when my in-depth guide of Yakumo comes out. Good luck, my friends. And when does this all release? By the time you watch this, it may already be out. This update comes on the 9th of June, 2.59pm UTC.